Listen up, veterans and retirees. Great news. People who qualify for Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits can now receive direct payments of up to $2,500. Make sure you get your hands on those checks without delay if you qualify. The information you require is contained here. Determine who can receive these $2,500 grants. To help you determine whether you or a loved one meet the requirements, we will outline them in. Detail. Get the lowdown on how to verify your eligibility. With this knowledge in hand, you can confidently and swiftly advance. To help you apply for and get your $2,500, we've laid out the process in detail. Make sure you get your bill without any problems by following these simple guidelines. Find out when the most crucial due dates are. Make sure you are informed because failing to do so could cause a delay in your payment. You get to know the typical issues people encounter while trying to claim these payments and learn the easy ways to fix them. Beneficiaries of Social Security and Veterans Affairs benefits such as the elderly and the disabled will get $2,500 as a much-needed financial assistance. Assistance with basic living costs, medical bills, and other necessities might be provided by this program. These monies have the potential to greatly improve your financial status. Don't let this chance slip through your fingers. Take special note if you are 65 or older, receiving payments from the VA, SSI, SSDI, Social Security Disability Insurance, or any of the other programs administered by the Social Security Administration. The federal government has just authorized a fresh batch of $2,500 direct payments to give much-needed financial aid, but the deadline to claim these funds is rapidly approaching. In the following minutes, we will explain these direct payments in great detail. What follows is a comprehensive overview of the program, including eligibility requirements based on income and type of benefits, application instructions, payment processing deadlines and processes, and troubleshooting measures in the event of problems or on delays in obtaining payments. You should not pass up the opportunity to acquire this substantial sum of money, since it has the potential to have a profound impact. Before we get into the details, let's quickly review the rationale behind the issuance of these $2,500 direct payments. We are well aware that the COVID-19 pandemic had a devastating impact on the American economy, driving up prices, causing many people to lose their jobs, and putting a burden on millions of families' budgets. There was some short-term relief in the form of stimulus checks and other relief measures, but many families and individuals were still struggling to make ends meet. When prices for necessities like food, gas, housing, and utilities skyrocketed due to inflation, those with fixed, limited incomes from programs like Social Security, Disability, and VA payments were among the worst hit. The situation for these vulnerable individuals became even worse when the measures established during the pandemic, such as food stamps, SNAP, child tax credits, and relief from Medicare payments expired. In light of this persistent situation, the federal government enacted new law earlier this year titled the Direct Assistance for Households in Need Act. Families receiving Social Security retirement benefits, supplemental security income, veterans' disability compensation or pension payments, as well as any individual 65 years of age or older, regardless of their income from other sources, are eligible to receive $2. 500 direct payments through the primary component. Those on low or fixed incomes have and been hit particularly hard by rising prices. Therefore, this is an attempt to alleviate some of their financial burden. Who is eligible for these much-needed $2,500 payments? Well, it depends on a number of federal assistance programs, so let's dive into the facts. You are eligible to receive the entire $2,500 payment if you receive Social Security retirement benefits during the 2022 tax year. Nevertheless, there is a limit to how much money you may bring in as a household if you're filing as um, a single person, your income cannot exceed $75,000 if you're married and filing jointly. It can't surpass $150,000. Your most recent tax returns adjusted gross income AGI will serve as the basis for this. No matter your household income or other financial resources, you are eligible for the full $2,500 payment if you are receiving Social Security Disability Insurance, Supplemental Security Income, or SSDI. Full payment is also available to those who receive pension or disability payments from the VA, regardless of their income level. Furthermore, this $2,500 payment is available. Anyone who is 65 or older as of December 31st, 2022, regardless of whether they have other sources of income or not, including social security benefits, the sole criterion is the minimum age. Please be aware that the $2,500 payout is payout is for each person, 
not each family. Separate qualifying conditions, such as one partner receiving SSDI payments and the other Social Security retirement benefits, would result in two separate $2,500 direct payments to the partners or spouses, the majority of. Individuals who are enrolled in benefit programs and clearly meet the eligibility requirements should expect the payments to be sent to their bank accounts or government-issued debit cards like Direct Express in the coming weeks. To be eligible for these $2,500 direct payments, though, particular organizations will have to take the initiative and fill out an application. This also applies to those who are just applying for Social Security, SSDI, or SSI benefits in 2023 the government might not. Have your most up-to-date information on record just yet. Anyone over the age of 65 who often does not file a tax return due to low income can also benefit from this program as the IRS requires a means to confirm eligibility. June 15th, 2023 is the start date of the application window, which will end on September 30th, 2023. You can submit the necessary information through an online gateway at irs.gov slash direct aid, print and send a paper form or phone a dedicated direct assistance hotline. Payments will not be granted after this, so don't delay. A few pieces of basic personal information are required for online, postal, or phone applications in order to confirm your eligibility and identify you. This includes your complete legal name, DOB, present mailing address, phone number, SSN, information regarding the particular benefit you receive, such as SSSE, I, or Social Security, and if you prefer electronic payment, the details of your bank accounts for direct deposit. Based on the specifics of your case, they may also inquire as to your household's financial status and income level. You can anticipate receiving your $2,500 payment in two waves. The first wave will go out as early as July 2023, and subsequent waves will continue during the following months. Once your application is completed and approved, the money should be sent to you using the same method as your monthly benefits, which could be a government debit card, direct deposit, or even a paper check if that's your only option. The fact that these $2,500 installments cannot be used to pay off other federal debts such as delinquent taxes, outstanding student loans, child support arrears, or any other. Outstanding balance is an important practical consideration. Thus, the whole money, free of deductions, should be yours. Additionally, you should know that the federal government does not count this $2,500 direct payment as income. This money is completely free of taxation and will not even need to be reported on your forthcoming tax returns. Delays, processing lags, and other possible hitches are inevitable, especially if you are required to submit an application, despite the best efforts to. Ensure that all qualified recipients receive these funds promptly. The following step is to check the status if you have not received your payment after more than one month from when the first batch was distributed in July. The IRS Direct Assistance Payment Tracker tool accessible online at IRS is what you require for this purpose. Gov. Assistance programs if your payment has already been given but is only delayed, or if your application is still being processed, you can confirm this by providing your personal identifying details. Or if you need to provide more information if there are any unresolved issues. Your payment may simply need a little more time to be processed due to the high volume they are currently dealing with if it shows as pending. But if the tracker shows that your application is denied or whatever, you should contact the admissions office personally. Your total family income being more than the maximum for Social Security retirement recipients is one of the most prevalent reasons and application could be denied. Leaving off important facts such as a name, birth date, social security number, or current mailing address from the application, or not include all necessary documents or information. To establish your case for meeting the qualifying standards, be prepared to provide any necessary paperwork and justifications. Filing Form 13756, the Request for Direct Assistance Reconsideration Form, is another legitimate way to ask the IRS to look into your rejected application. Please provide a detailed explanation of your eligibility for the $2,500 payment and attach any relevant paperwork, evidence, or other documents to back up your claim. As a final option, you can contact a nonprofit tax clinic or advocacy group for help if your problems are still unresolved after submitting further information, making calls, and requesting an official reconsideration. If the IRS insists you don't qualify even if you appear to fulfill the requirements, these groups can help you find your way through the system to have your situation fixed. Lastly, a word of warning regarding possible scams involving these new $2,500 direct transfers is in order. Prior to anything else, you must apply through the IRS's official website irs.gov slash direct help, either by submitting an official paper form through mail or by calling their hotline. Ignore and dismiss any communications email, text, phone, 
publication from anybody else claiming they can obtain these monies or requesting personal information to verify. Your eligibility, they are most likely false. No one from the IRS will ever contact you in an uninvited manner regarding this program you are required to take the initiative by following the instructions. Furthermore, no outside firms, consultants, or services are being used in any manner. Weigh with these payments made by the government. It is clear that there is an attempt to deceive you into parting with your money by offering to speed up your payment or raise the amount in exchange for an advance. Fee. Scammers, alas, see every new government initiative as an opportunity to rip from trusting citizens through phishing, impersonation, and empty promises. Keep your guard up at all times if you want to know more about this direct payment program, you should only get it from official sources like irs.gov. Also, never, ever give out your personal or financial information over the phone, email, or internet unless you personally initiated the contact. In light of these fraud alerts, we have gone over every important aspect regarding the new $2,500 direct payment program for elderly, those on disability veterans and social security benefits. We reviewed the criteria for eligibility depending on the individual's or family's income and the program to which they are applying. If you need to know how to apply, when to expect your funds and how to anticipate them delivered, we laid it all out for you. We also covered how to appeal to the IRS in the event of problems or denials and how to troubleshoot in the event that your payment is delayed. There will undoubtedly be some problems because of the sheer volume of these $2,500 payments being distributed to eligible Americans. This is a fantastic chance, nevertheless, to get a substantial sum of money in these trying economic times. Age for individuals living on. Fixed income such as Social Security, Disability, VA benefits, or savings from retirement, an additional $2,500 can make a significant impact in covering essential expenses. With this, you won't have to cut corners or give up anything important in order to make ends meet. In theory, millions of families' financial situations could improve dramatically as a result of this direct transfer. Please check your eligibility, fill out any necessary forms, and submit them before September 30th, 2023. If you are eligible, you should expect to receive your payment within a few months. Keep an eye out for scammers. Make sure to only get information from irs.gov and don't hesitate to follow up if you encounter any problems. It is critical that these money reach the people who need them the most so that they can buy necessities and keep their independence and quality of life. Despite the fact that the $2,500 direct payment program won't solve all of America's financial problems, it will help the elderly, people with disabilities, and low-income families weather the current economic storm. No one's fixed income should be so low that they have to choose between basic necessities like food, medicine, and a roof over their heads. Take advantage of this financial aid and get the benefits to which you are due.